we visit Dominica's International Airport. See the work as it develops. Now, let's meet the team. Hi, my name is Hassan and I'm live here on the Batchman site for the International Airport. This is an update of the inside development program that we have on Dominica's broadcasting station where we're going to take you into some of the developmental projects that are going on presently in Dominica. On, and with me, I have the CEO of the uh, International Airport himself. Hi, good, good morning uh, Hassan. Thanks for coming out and thanks for having me on, on the project. Yes, um, It would be an absolute pleasure if you could help me introduce um, our guests here on this episode. Sure. So <clears throat> with us today, uh, representing MMC, who is the, um, the, the project developer, um, is Alvaro. And Alvaro will tell you a lot about um, his experience and his involvement in, in this national project. And then standing to his left would be Mr. Ma, who is the project director um, from CR5, China Railway 5. Uh, next to him, Mr. Joseph. And they combined represent CR5, which is one of, one of the largest um, construction firms coming out of um, China. And they're the ones who have been engaged in the development of this project. So we're we're in still in uh, the the mobilization phase of the project, and the site where we are on right now is is uh, in support of the main project. So it is the batch plan site where there will be your your batching of, of concrete and asphalt, um, raw materials, um, storage will all happen in this area. Um, if you look behind, you will see the towers, the silos. For, for in support of that activity um, and in the far corner you will see a fuel farm which includes uh, fuel stores to ensure that the vehicles that you, you see and, and, and the heavy equipment that are operating on on the site are fueled and can work unimpeded over a period of time. Uh, we are also working closely with MMC and um, CR5 in, in tweaking designs and we were just having a discussion actually recently in terms of incorporating feedback received from key stakeholders into the, uh, the, the, the final designs because CR5 as part of the design build process that we're pursuing will be tasked with delivering on the concept that the government of Dominica has come, come up with uh, for the airport and they'll be working closely with us with the skill sets from MMC to ensure that the standards and specifications and the capacity and passenger experience and all of that good stuff um, is captured and reflected in the final product. Um, this is a project I think it's not the biggest project in the world it's not the biggest project in the Caribbean by, by, by any stretch but in Dominica it's probably the single biggest project in Dominica to date and probably for the next God knows how, how, how much longer. We're not trying to catch up, we're trying to leapfrog, right? Um, and in, in so doing, you have to walk a line to ensure that your size and your capacity um, is reflective of what your future projections will be. So by our current operations, it might feel huge but um, it's something we hope to quickly grow into, right? And um, to that end, we've been um, working to drum up um, air, air, air transport uh, traffic into the existing airport that can then help us accelerate. Because we, we know from the last budget um, presentation, the Ministry of Tourism has set a very aggressive target of half a million still over visitors um, uh, a year. And that's just still visitors by 2030, right? So for still visitors, that you also have your your Dominican nationals traveling back and forth. Um, you will also have um, business visitors that might fly in, fly out for the in transit passengers. So if we do realize that half a million by 2030, there's going to be so much more traffic that this new airport will have to be able to 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 handle. So far we have the full commitment from the government, so our collaboration with them is very closely. 
and also with CR5, the contractor, actually, we are sharing the offices so we can meet on a daily basis because uh, this project uh, we are managing it as, as a fast track, meaning that uh, we are going to construct it while we are designing it. So we are solving the problems at the same time that we are going to construct. So that's uh, very challenging, but um, everyone, all the stakeholders are on board. Well, that's a way of managing big projects that um, if you do that way, you can end up with a very long um, time for completeness and you want to have, uh, minimize that risk because the longer that a project uh, develops, the bigger is the risk for failure. So we are taking a risk in the sense that we are moving fast, but we are minimizing the risk of the full picture. Well, the opportunity of working very closely with all the stakeholders is that we are going to improve what we are going to deliver. It's not like we finalize the design and then we construct it, and then that's what we deliver. In this case, we are working closely with the government and um, with CR5, so we are improving what we are going to deliver at the, on each step. Currently, we are uh, doing the, the design, uh, and meanwhile, we are also working on at the site. Uh, hope the, now, the most challenges for, for this project is uh, about the, the huge volume of the earthworks moving movement, because we have uh, we, uh, we have encountered for over 14 million cubic meters of the, uh, the cutting, and uh, over 10 million cubic meters of the filling. That's the most challenges that uh, we are having now, and actually we are working very closely with uh, with the developer MMC and also with uh, with the international airport development company to uh, try to you know uh, finalize the uh, the design as much as possible uh, for the current stage, and then meanwhile uh, try to work as much as possible from the side for the, uh, for the you know the physical progress. Uh, I think that that is what's going on now. For the civil engineering aspect, uh, the most uh, major concern is about the, uh, the weather. Once we have the, uh, we have the rainfall at the site, then that that be kind of the disaster to the civil engineering construction, because all the uh, equipment movement and uh, also uh, also the you know the, for the cavities such other heavy equipment cannot start, uh, cannot get studied for uh, during the rainfall even after uh, a way off after after the rainfall so that's uh, that's uh, it's a very bad negative impact you know yeah but uh, after that I think mm, the, the the weather we uh, we are having after date. It's, it's a little bit better than, than last year, <laughs> yes. Uh, that's one of the major factors uh, we, are, uh, we are considering in travel design. Uh, see, from the feasibility study they have, uh, which was carried out by the, uh, by the other third party, uh, we, uh, we noticed that, that they have a rainfall or we have a hurricane season. Where we are now uh, is a hurricane season. So, uh, for the hydraulic design or any other, you know, anti-hurricane factors, we take all the you know, all the parameters into our you know, uh, into our design and also the calculations to make sure all the facility, you know, facilities after the completion of the uh, pro uh, the project and uh, during the operation to make sure that all the uh, facilities it, uh, will be flexible for the uh, for the for the weather in you know, the challenge. As a matter of fact, we are a little bit behind this, uh, our schedule. It's because of the we are in, uh, in the hurricane season. So, but when we, uh, we are uh, moving into dry season, we, uh, we will put, uh, utilize all our resources to catch up all the uh, all, uh, all the you know delay, and also to make sure that all the progress we are going to make is ahead of the schedule. 
about it. A particular airport project, uh, we have engaged uh, more than 200 uh, employees from uh, from local, uh, from local to participate in all the construction uh, phases in the airport project. And meanwhile, uh, apart from the employees, we also have some local partners working for us. Like we have some, uh, we engage some local trucks to provide some transportation service to the, under this project. Uh, that's uh, actually, I believe that is on the beginning of the project. Uh, project. And uh, uh, as along with the construction of the airport uh, plant, we will continue and keep in, uh, employ more workers from local uh, and also some professionals if they uh, if they are qualified. That uh, we, are, we are always open and welcome them. For this airport project itself, uh, it's, it's sort of the regular size, regular size for our company, for our company. Uh, but uh, like, uh, like, uh, like I mentioned, uh, the, the most challenge is about the volumes of the earthwork movement. That's um, the most challenge we are, have, uh, uh, we are having now. And uh, apart from this, the other is just the, you know, just the number one. So uh, I don't see any other you know special characters or something we could encounter from uh, from this airport yeah the team continued to runway 33 which is one of the endpoints of the runway located at the bottom westerly area which is 33 meters or 108 feet 